Hi everyone, welcome, it's Peggy here. I'm gonna be making a walnut and resin charcuterie board. So here I've got the form laid out and, and fitting the piece of walnut in. And before anyone writes anything in the, in the comments, I know this is not wood turning. Um, this is a bonus video um, I thought I'd share with you, uh, trying my hand at some cutting slash charcuterie boards. So I hope you like it. Let me know if you do. And the next project will be wood turning. And here I'm preparing the resin epoxy. This is eco epoxy. So I'm pouring in part A and as with any resin project, the crucial parts include uh, the proper measuring and mixing. So as I was getting to the, obviously the end of the bottle here, I was really taking my time to get all of it so it would, it would mix properly. And here's part B. I also use a Ecopoxy pigment. This is the, their Maui blue, such a pretty blue. I put a little bit in at first and see what the shade is like and then I end up putting a little bit more in to get the right shade of blue. I hand mix for a little bit until the color is uh, really blended and then I use this uh, mixer on the drill which really helps to mix it thoroughly. Here I'm getting ready to pour the resin and the crucial part here is to pour slow and consistently. If you pour too fast you're just going to create more bubbles. So this is real time. This is as slow as I was pouring. And before anyone says anything, yes I did forget to put blocks underneath the um, clamps. Silly mistake, I was too excited to pour the resin, I guess. Here I'm using a heat gun to pop the bubbles on the surface, also using it to create a little design in the, in the resin. So it's out of the form and I've drawn a shape on it that I want and I'm going to cut it to rough shape on the bandsaw staying proud of the lines uh, because I'm going to use the belt sander and the hand sander and then the router to finalize the shape.
Here I'm using the belt sander to help shape the, the board. Um, this resin really gums up the, the sandpaper really quickly, so I kept having to clean it off. And a spindle oscillating sander would have been much better for this, but I don't have one. But it would have been much, much easier. Now I'm going to use the random orbit sander to help uh, finalize the shape on the edges. I go from 80 grit to 400 grit with the random orbit sander. And here's the hand sanding, wet sanding. I sanded this way from 600 to about 2000 grit. And it wasn't completely necessary, especially on the wood, but I wanted to get the resin as smooth and scratch free as possible. So I just took my time and kept at it. Here I'm using a router with a quarter inch round over bit to route all the sides on the front and back. I just think it gives it a little bit of a softer look. And the router does a good job, but I still end up having to hand sand the edges a little bit to uh, take off any sharp edges or um, blend the edges together. So the story of this project is sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding and more sanding, uh, which takes a while, but if you're patient, it, it is really worth the wait and the work. Here I'm using the random orbit sander again on the edges, and in a moment you'll see me do some hand sanding on the edges as well. So just touching up those edges by hand. Here I use denatured alcohol to clean off the surfaces. One of my favorite parts personally, because you get to see what it's going to look like when it's finished. And look at that grain. Walnut is so beautiful. So the handle. The handle I was really unsure whether to leave it solid or put a hole in it. Um, here I've put tape on it to make it easier to drill because I did decide to um, Put a hole in it so I'm measuring for the center and I'll use a drill bit and drill it out and then a portioner bit after that. For the record this would have been easier and safer on a drill press but mine wasn't working at the time.
I use general finishes, salad bowl finish on this and uh, end up using three coats. And I used a high grit sandpaper in between the coats. And as you can see here, it just brings out the grain so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all my subscribers and to the viewers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It really, really does help my channel and it helps YouTube know to get it in front of other people uh, to let them know that people are watching. So thanks in advance. If you have any questions or thoughts about this project, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will respond. And thanks again for watching. I will see you next week. Peace out.